the day, all kings and queens, all gods and goddesses, all beautiful people. I am B Floss to God. And this morning I just want to talk about the power of being alone. Right? The power of being alone. Now, when we spend time alone, it can be very powerful in a positive way or it can be very destructive all right and it all depends on you right it all depends on what you decide to do um within that time of being alone right now i remember as a young boy coming up you know sometimes when you when you um have that time alone as a, as a kid you know, you tend to tell yourself, man, I'm bored, you know, I'm so bored, I just want something to do, right? And my mother would often say, you know, and parents would often tell their kids when they say that, is that the devil finds work for idle hands, right? Meaning that with that time alone, if you can't find something constructive to do, well, then you will find something destructive to do basically is what they will see what they will say so they will tell you you know find a book to read find something constructive to do right because god is within us which is you know the positive um thoughts and the devil is also within us which is the destructive um negative thoughts as well so when you are alone right it can be very powerful in the sense of helping you to connect with your higher self, you know, which is God, which is you, right? It allows you to get to know yourself better, right? You're building a closer relationship with yourself, right? When you're spending time alone and, you, and you're using it in a positive way, in a, constru in a constructive way, getting to know yourself better, right? Co-creating your reality the way you want it to be. You know, visualizing um, and imagining and envisioning your life, how you want it to be a year from now, two years from now, five years from now, ten years from now, for the rest of your life. Using your affirmations, scripting, watching positive videos, reading um, positive books and applying what you read and what you hear. Right? Using that time wisely. Or you could choose to use that time to let your mind run well, you know, with unwanted thoughts and getting comfortable with it, you know, which will allow you know, to, to be at a lower vibration, where you allow those negative thoughts to run well and not being aware and controlling them. You know, that's why some people... You know, they can't handle being alone. They tend to go into depression, right? Or they tend to have suicidal thoughts. There are some people, you know, they, they can't be alone for too long. They have to have company around them. They have to have people around them. And I'm not saying nothing is wrong with having people around you, but, you know, there are some people that they just can't spend time alone. They, they as people would say, they can't face their demons they always have to have people around them to feel some type of way, to help them feel empowered. But true power comes from being alone. Don't mind if people call yourself, if people tell you that you're weird or you're strange or you're a loner. There's nothing wrong with that. Because there's power within that. Because if you're always surrounded by people 24-7, like you're not getting a chance to know yourself better. You're not getting a chance to communicate with yourself. And majority of the times, most of these people that you're around, a lot of them are snakes. You know? It's all fun and, you know, it's all fun and games when everybody is having a good time and laughing and what's not. But what about when you, you are going through um, down times? How many of those same people will come to your rescue, how many of those same people you know for a fact have your, has your back? 
So sometimes you've got to take a step back, right? And analyze and observe. At one time in my life too, I used to, you know, I would, I would lay on the block, you know, smoke my weed and, and, and stuff, you know, and hang with the fellas. But still, I had this thing always within me, you know, like telling myself, you know, there's got to be something more than this. There's got to be more to life than this. Now to just spending time smoking weed and just talking about the same shit over and over all the time. And majority of the times it wasn't anything really constructive. Just talking about past events and you know, laughing and giggling and talking about nonsense. I mean when you're young, yeah, you go through those phases in life, but you know, something you just gotta take a step back, man. And I always had this thing within me like I, I just like I just prefer to be alone most of the time. You know? That was just me. Just to search for knowledge, you know, because I always had this thing within me, like I wanted to always evolve, I wanted to be the best version of myself, you know. And people would people would say things about me too, you know. I'm strange, you know, or weird, or like you know, um, like they can't they can't understand me. But that's good because when I get to spend that time with myself and I get to know myself better, and things will like, start to happen for me, like these same people. You know, they'll be like, you see, the same thing I told you, dog, you know. I, I, I told you that, you know, things will happen for you. And what's not, like, at a point in time in my life where things was actually, like, you know, like, happening. Like, where you could see me, like, making progress with, like, my music and stuff. And like, I was working on my house at that time, too. Because at that time, I was doing research. And that's when I uh, first found out about the secret with Bob, Bob Proctor. And that helped, like, open up my eyes, like, helped me to be aware now, like, of my thoughts. And stuff, so I decided to like, you know, take a break from all that lame and smoking weed and stuff and work on myself. And people will have a lot to say about me. Until they started to see things happening. That's just people and human beings, but they never let it stop me because they know myself. I'm not a follower, never was. I do what I want to do. Right? So being alone, it can be very powerful. Yet very destructive, but it all depends on you. When you are alone, you know, just spend time alone. Face your demons. Search for knowledge, you know. Apply, apply it. See what works for you. If it doesn't work for you, discard it. Find time to meditate. Co-create your life. Visualize. Script, you know. Uh, find time to do what you love to do. When you are alone, you know what I mean? That's when ideas are born. That's when you start to have like different thoughts and stuff. You know, when you take time to quiet yourself and go within, you know what I mean? Spend time alone, man. And don't allow those negative thoughts to, to, to overpower you. You have control. That's why with the lockdown, like, you start to see a lot of crazy things happening with people. Because, you know, they're accustomed to running around in the matrix and having fun and doing stuff. But when it's time now to be alone, a lot of people can't handle it. And that is where true power lies. So if people call you strange or weird or you're a loner and you spend most of your time alone, trust me, you are so powerful. And for those of you who, who did that for the most of your most of your life or you know, or just start started to do it and find it yourself and what's not, the world is in your hands. Once you're doing it in a positive way and you're working on yourself daily in a positive way to evolve, trust me, the world is yours. And those same people, they're gonna resort to you. Watch and see. So the power of being alone, as I say, it can be very powerful or very destructive. It all depends on you. So my advice, take that time and use it in a positive way. Be aware of your thoughts. Read something positive, something that will evolve, help you to evolve. Watch positive uh, videos, something that will help you, you know, to be the best version of yourself, something that will help you to feel good. And apply it. Don't just read and listen. Apply as well. Find what works for you. Co-create co -create your life every single day. Self-talk. Positive self-talk. Affirmations. Visualizations. You know. There's power in being alone. There's nothing wrong with it. So with all that being said. I am Be Floss to God. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't as yet. Press the notification bell also for more videos to come. As well, all right, sending you peace, love, joy, prosperity, and blessings. 
and do have a blessed day. I'm out.